change into a person I don't wanna be so Oh, it's Saturday night yeah. Great for the wicked on the weekend Mama can I get another Yo, what is up guys? Demiro's back with a brand new video and we're back! On some more Call of Duty World War 2. Really quickly, I know this doesn't really have much to do with the video, but I want you guys to just take a look at this. Oh my god, I managed to pull this really, really nice heroic lever action variant a few days ago, I believe. And man, this thing looks so nice. I wanted to use a new sniper because I know that the lever action, I know it's a lever action sniper, but I'm just going to call it a bolt action. But it is essentially the best bolt action sniper in the game. It's very fast and its damage isn't actually as bad as people make it out to be. It can get one shot kills in the upper chest, in the arms, and all that stuff, and it's very, very good. It's probably my favorite bolt-action sniper in the entire game. I actually had the lever action for a while, but I kind of refused to use it because I didn't have a heroic version of it because I'm just a spoiled piece of shit. And speaking of heroic variants, I now have a heroic variant of every single sniper in the game, except for the PTRS, but that doesn't really count because I don't even have the PTRS by itself. So when I do manage to actually unlock the PTRS, I'm gonna use my sniper rifle bribe because I actually have one more left and hopefully, hopefully I pull the Kraken 2 because that's like the best looking variant in the entire game. But for the Springfield, I have a heroic variant. For the Lee Enfield, I have a heroic variant. For the Arasaka, I actually managed to pull this just a few days or I think like one day before I managed to pull the lever action that I had. I got the Ronin 2 as well, which looks very, very nice. For the Car 98K, I have the Commander 2, which is very beautiful. And then I managed to pull the Sheriff 2 for the lever action. So that's pretty much all I've been rocking with recently. Some of you guys might not know this, but I I am grinding this game. I have been playing this game so much for the past two weeks and I've been hitting some very, very nice clips. I honestly feel like I'm going to drop another mini Taj very soon. Give it a few weeks and I reckon I'll be able to put out another mini Taj. Oh God, I'm just like, I've really been hitting a lot of clips recently. No bangers or anything like that, but I have been hitting a lot of leftovers that I've just been saving and I should be able to put out some sort of mini Taj in the next few weeks and man, it is fucking awesome. I reckon that's also the reason why I have a lot of these heroic variants as well, because I've been grinding, I've been completing my orders, I've been getting these sniper rifle bribes, and man, it is awesome. It feels really nice to just be able to use any sniper I want in the game, except the PTRS, and actually have a nice variant for it. Because ever since I unlock heroic variants for the main snipers in this game, like the Lee Enfield, the Kyra 98K, and the Springfield, I haven't wanted to use any of the new snipers. I didn't want to use the Arasaka, I didn't want to use the Lever Action, because I didn't have any nice variants for them. But now that I've been grinding and that I've been playing this game a shit ton, I managed to finally unlock nice variants of every single sniper in the game, except for the PTRS, but I know I'll get that eventually as well. And yeah, everything's been good. This game has just been fucking awesome. I also managed to pull this very, very nice Enfield 2 variant as well, which I managed to also get Chrome for. I normally don't really go for Chrome camo on new weapons that are pulled out of supply drops, but I thought that I just had to go for this one because damn, this thing is so fucking beautiful. And also for the snipers, but that goes without saying any sniper in the game I'm gonna get Chrome camo for. So yeah, it's just been good. I've been on the grind, even though I've been extremely busy lately, which I'm gonna mention at the end of the video because as you you guys notice I haven't been uploading a lot recently but I'll touch on that towards the end of the video but seeing as I've been playing this game a lot recently it actually kind of ties into a topic that I wanted to talk about in today's video I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard but there's this thing going around it's actually like a proper thing right now it's according to the health organization the World Health Organization or something like that there is this new thing called gaming disorder and oh god I wanted to touch on this in a video because I think that this is complete bull Bullshit. I think it's so stupid. I just said stupid. I, I, what the fuck is wrong with my brain? I think it is so stupid that this is officially a thing and I don't think any of us should be taking it seriously. This is just another excuse for adults to look down on their kids because they're playing video games for a long time and I just wanted to touch upon this and kind of give my opinions of why I think gaming disorder is just complete fucking bullshit and it's just ridiculous. I never even thought that this would be a thing. I It never even crossed my mind that gaming disorder would ever be a thing. For anybody who doesn't know what gaming disorder is, the actual definition of gaming disorder is that if you play video games for more than 20 hours every single week, you apparently have gaming disorder. You actually have a mental disorder if you play video games for over 20 hours a week, which to me is just absolutely ridiculous. The first reason why I think it's absolutely ridiculous is because 20 hours for the average gamer is literally nothing in a week. Some people will play for like 40 hours a week 
week if they get the opportunity to. Take me for instance, I easily play video games for over 20 hours every single week, and do you honestly think I have some sort of mental disorder because I play video games for that long? It's completely ridiculous. The thing that I really don't like about this is that they're trying to link gaming disorder to addiction, which are two very, very different things. In this video, I'm not going to completely defend gaming because there are some things that can be negative about gaming. For example, if you're playing video games very, very impulsively every single day to where you're ignoring things that you have to take responsibility for every single day. Like say for example, if you have kids, if you have a job, if you have things that you have to do every single day and you are giving up on those things and you're not paying attention to those things because you're trying to play video games, then yes, that is a problem. That is an addiction. If you have kids and you're not taking care of your kids because you want to play video games, that is a problem. That is an addiction. That is something that I cannot defend. That is actually something that is a very, very big issue and you need to attend to. But for the average person who just works a normal job and every single day when they come home and play video games for the rest of their time, that's not an addiction. That is not a problem. That's just somebody who likes to spend their free time playing video games and you cannot say that that is a disorder. 20 hours a week is absolutely nothing. I don't know where they came up with this number. I don't know how they even came up with gaming disorder as a whole. There is a difference between addiction and just somebody who likes to play video games for a very long amount of time. Take it as any other hobby, for example, if somebody liked to play basketball for over 20 hours every single week, would you say that they have basketball disorder? No, you would just say that they like to spend a lot of time doing that specific hobby that they enjoy. Now, I know that basketball and gaming are definitely a little bit different in a few senses. For example, basketball is definitely much more physically healthy for you than gaming. But I'm trying to look at them as hobbies. You wouldn't say that someone has a disorder because they spend a lot of time on a hobby. That is the part that I'm trying to get across. There is a very big difference between between addiction and mental disorder. Some people can be addicted to anything. Some people can be addicted to playing video games. Some people can be addicted to exercise. Some people can be addicted to food. Some people can be addicted to drugs. But to say that an addiction to video games is now classified as a mental disorder is just absolutely unreal to me. I don't know how the fuck they came up with this. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. Another thing that I wanted to sort of touch up on this as well is the fact that there are people out there who do this for a living, and can you say that they have a mental disorder? Can you say that they have gaming disorder? There are people who play, say, Fortnite or Call of Duty, these people who play one specific video game for like 80, 90, 100 hours every single week, can you say that these people have gaming disorder? They literally do it for a living, they play video games because that's how they pay the bills, that's how they keep food on the table. These people don't do it because they have an addiction. I would actually go as far as to say that the majority of these people who play video games 80 to 90 hours every single week because that is their career don't necessarily enjoy it They do it because they're a pro at the video game because they're good at it And that's how they make their living. Are you seriously going to look at a Fortnite professional player like Tfue? I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right But are you going to look at Tfue and say that he has gaming disorder because he plays Fortnite every single week for like over 80 hours? No, you're not going to say he has a gaming disorder You're just going to say that that's his career. He does that because that's how he pays the bill it doesn't make any sense. Some people, you need to take their situation into consideration. Some people play video games because they're absolutely addicted to it and they can't think of anything else to do with their lives. And I completely agree. That is a problem. Some people, they are addicted to video games and they neglect all the other responsibilities that they have throughout their daily life. But then there are people who just simply like playing video games because it's a nice pastime. Like me, for example. I do this because I like making videos. I like playing video games. I don't have an unhealthy addiction addiction to video games. I could go a week without playing video games without any problem whatsoever. If you took away my PS4 for an entire week, the only thing I would be bothered by is the fact that I can't do YouTube. But when you're looking at gaming simply by itself, I could go an entire week without playing video games. It's not a problem. And then there are people who just simply do this because that's their fucking living. And to those people, I feel the absolute worst for because 20 hours a week is nothing. And then there are people who spend 80 hours a week because that's how they pay their bills. And those people now are considered to have a gaming disorder, which just makes absolutely no sense to me. It's just stupid. It's ridiculous. And I hope that the World Health Organization really take a second look at this because it's just stupid. They didn't take into consideration all the different factors of people who play video games for a long time. And it just... 
Oh god, it kind of hurts my brain a little bit. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna develop a mental disorder because of gaming disorder. Anyway, that's all I have to say about gaming disorder. Overall, I think it's really, really stupid, and we need to take a second look at this. Before I wrap this video up, I really quickly just want to touch on the fact that I haven't been uploading very consistently recently. The reason for that is because I have just been very, very busy recently. I've been doing a lot of things in my own personal life, stuff to do with jobs and such, and I've just been very busy recently. I just haven't really had much time to attend to YouTube, but hopefully everything is starting to flatten out a little bit and I'm actually able to come back to YouTube and upload somewhat consistently again. Also, I'm doing a lot of things with Sane recently that I've also been taking up some of my time and just keep a lookout for that. Keep a lookout on Sane's channel because there are going to be some banger videos coming out on there. I will be re-uploading them to my channel as well after they go up on the Sane channel. So if you don't want to follow Sane, you could just follow me and I'll still have the videos up here. But other than that, I'm going to wrap this video up here. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. I'll have my last one in the corner. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack the like button if you want to stay up to date with my content make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell notification as well so that you see my videos first i hope you guys enjoyed thanks very much for watching peace out